Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com with lots of news on a number of delays. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Once again, the coronavirus hits the Disney schedules as they kind of reshuffle everything and push things back, including Mulan, which they have pulled completely off of their upcoming release schedule and went on to say over the past few months it's become clear that nothing can be set in stone when it comes to how we release films during this global health crisis and today that means pausing our release plans for Mulan as we assess how we can effectively bring this film to audiences around the world now I think that's very important that terminology about the fact that they need to look at how they're going to release it means basically two things first off it could be just released straight onto Disney Plus or more alternatively it could be released as a premium video on demand and then released onto Disney Plus later. Now I'm going to be honest I am expecting them to go with the latter version where they release it as a premium rental such as Universal have done with the Trolls movies and a number of other titles as well. That way Disney can kind of bring in much more money than they would do if they just released something on Disney Plus such as Artemis Fowl or the one and the only Ivan because ultimately while they might get a number of subscribers jump in if you're already a subscriber they're not getting any more money out of you but if they put it on a premium rental everyone that's already got Disney Plus might be more inclined to rent it and ultimately this is going to bring some money in because Mulan is a massive big budgeted movie over 200 million in budget and um, so it's way higher than anything we've seen on Disney Plus yet though I suspect it won't be too much longer after it's been released until it's added to Disney Plus and also they can't keep delaying it I mean they've delayed it a number of times already and I suspect there'll be some more delays coming soon because that wasn't the only delay they have done they've also kind of delayed all the Avatar movies by a year they've pushed them back so they're going to be dropping in 2022, 2024, 2026 and 2028 the interesting thing as well with that is uh, next year's release date that was going to be Avatar is now going to be filled by Spider-Man 3 that's been pushed back about a month but also all the Star Wars movies have also been pushed back a year and they will alternate between the Avatar movies so we're talking like 2023, 2025, 2027 and that's not the only thing that is in addition to things that they've already announced that they've moved for example like Soul and Black Widow and the Jungle Cruise and a whole host of other movies they've also moved a number of the 20th Century Studio movies and also the Searchlight Picture ones reshuffling them all around because right now Nobody knows when all the cinemas are going to reopen, especially with California and New York still down. While the New Mutants is still currently set for the end of August, things could change really um, much in that one. There was a, the panel from the San Diego Comic Con this week, and even they're taking um, the mick out of this. We're putting like a little, here's the date, and then a little fingers crossed underneath, because things could all change on this. But I think Mulan is obviously the big one straight away, whether or not... Um, that comes to Disney Plus or onto Premium On Demand sooner than we uh, hope. I don't think that's a bad idea. Hopefully we'll find out soon enough. There is an upcoming Disney financial call, so I wouldn't be at all surprised if we get that around then to kind of build some boost for shareholders who are obviously just really worried about the amount of money Disney is losing right now so that could be a nice little boost but nevertheless yeah everything is reshuffling and I wouldn't be at all surprised if we see some more shuffles later this year because things just ain't going back to normal maybe as quickly as everyone had hoped but nevertheless let me know in the comments below what you think of all these delays I'd love to hear your thoughts go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com like follow and subscribe and I shall see you guys in another video laters